Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my ReactJS course. In this video, we will try to see how to access the multiple context providers. So, if you are having multiple context, how we can get the data, we will try to see here. Now, here in order to get the context data, we are using static context type and we are using the context name, right? Now, I can remove this one all. So, we can also use another syntax. That is nothing but what we can do is, so here the JavaScript notation we need to write. Sorry, before writing this one, First, we need to write the button context. Okay, so now this time we are not providing, so we are consuming. So here we need to use consumer dot consumer. Okay, in this consumer, so whenever you provide this tag, in between this one, you need to write the JavaScript notation. Here you will be getting the value. Okay, it's a method. So here in this one, you need to return the JSX. So here I can copy this one and I can paste it here and I can use directly value here. Okay, so this is the way how we can access the context. So now if I try to refresh here, so you will be able to see the same output. So not a problem. Now if you want to access the multiple context, so how we can access using this method only. So now let's go here and let's go to the context. So here we are having the context, right? New file and here I can write user context.js and in this user context.js, let's try to copy this one all okay and paste it here so here i will be using the context in the same thing i will paste it here so this is the user context now i will go to the app.js yes from app.js we will be providing right here in the app.js what i can do is so this is the functional component so let's try to create one object something like name is equal to leela and i will be having one method it's a function what I will try to do, so I will try to return hello, sorry, hello plus this dot name. Okay, so this is the user data. I need to send it to the user context. So inside this one, sidebar, I need to use this bo use this both user context, right? User context and the button context, right? So I need to add user context like this. User context dot provider and the value is nothing but the user data. And here, what I can do. I can wrap this sidebar using this user context. Okay, so now this both button context data and user context data both will be used in the sidebar or in the children's of the sidebar like that going on. So let's go to the navigation.js. Here, if I want to use this, so here I can write something like user context dot consumer. Now this time I am a consumer, right? So here I can write like this. Here I can remove this one all. Okay. So here I will be getting something like user value. So this is a data. So now I can return div. This is a div I am using. Here I can write something like user value dot greet. I can use the greet method directly. Okay. So this is the thing how we can use. Now let's try to see the output. If I try to see the output here, I am able to see the hello by Leela C. This is how we can use the multiple context providers. So now here, if you, uh, for example, if I give the space here, if I try to refresh, so here I will be, I would be able to get the space also. Now here you will do it. This is how we can use the multiple user context in the component component children. If you want, you can also copy this one all, and you can make a div here. Okay, I can make a div here inside this one also you can use. Now, here I can paste it like this directly. Okay, so like this also. Little, little bit tough for my, uh, what do you what do I can say, from what uh, difficult it will be, syntax and all those things. But the usage is like this. So, you can use inside this one also like this. Okay, in this way, if you want to use the context providers, you can use it directly. So, now what we have used here how to use the multiple context so if you are having multiple context providers we can use like this button context and user context like a child like a children and we can send it to the sidebar so now react team actually what they will be telling is so use this context providers and all those this concept very very occasionally why because this one will be make the component very complex to understand also reusability also it will be very complex so that is the reason what it what the react js team will tell is so try to avoid maximum context context thing and all those things use it very occasionally if you are 
having the global data or something like that. so if you want to access these things so make use of this composition model so composition model also so try to use this composition model in order to avoid this context api and all this thing they will check they will be react js will be suggesting so now in order to apply composition model in this context how we can apply so here what we can do is we can make remove of this one all what i can say this all data okay so right now we are having only the sidebar right so sidebar so now if i want to use this sidebar what we can do i can make use of this composition model so what i can do here we will be having the data right so here in this sidebar what i can do here i can write navigation inside this navigation i can write the day due so whatever the thing you want you can access it here so i can have the due here multiple times okay i can access the due here inside this due what i can do i include this navigation okay navigation and inside this due what i can do here i can write href is equal to so here the data will be available right so you can write so right now leela web dev you can write like this now here you can write the due and here you can write the due data something like user data dot greet so this is the method you are using so you can use it right and if you go into the sidebar so this is the prop dot children right so if you go into the sidebar here you can use directly something like sorry this dot props dot children right so now here also in the navigation also you can directly use remove these all the things there will be no need so here you can use this dot props dot children okay this one is also the suggested way so now the data global usage of data what we are using try trying to send from the app dot js is solved now if you try to refresh see you are able to see the same data here okay so this is the most suggested way instead of using the context api okay now if you want to use something like other scenario also you can use it what is that other scenario is for example you can remove this one all so now you can remove this one all it to the sidebar here and in the sidebar you can write the navigation here anyway is suggested okay so you can mention this navigation into inside this one so this depends on your ability and this depends on your logic and requirement you can have it here okay and you can say you can check the output here you will be able to check the output and also what we can what we can do and also another one what i have suggested you we can also send as a prop this all navigation and everything for example if you want to send as a prop you can also send this all data for example app.js all data you can send it here can send it like this okay name is equal to something like this so send it this one all okay sorry not like this you can also send it as in a component so uh, we have used it right like a component we have used it right so now we can also use it like this for example i will show it in the react js uh, in the here here you will be able to so how they will be suggesting it it will be become so much of complex so i will i will show you how they will be passing now here somewhere from the component yeah here here you will be able to see props dot change the name here also you will be able to one go top here you will be able to see here feed user is equal to user and here navigation bar you are having right top bar here this top bar is sending it as a properties to this one so like this also if you want you can send it something like what they are using is so here they are having uh, inside this function app they are using something like let uh, top bar or something like this and here they are having they are maintaining the jsx sorry so they are maintaining the jsx like this and they are sending this top bar to sidebar here they can send like you can also use it, use this like this and you can use this one okay so either ways so how we, how we want to mention you can use this one to, in, in order to avoid the context api the so react js doesn't sub, uh, doesn't suggest you to use the uh, what we can say uh, this context api so they ask us to use the 
in uh, occasionally so they use this sparingly use this react uh, com context api so if you want to have this one so you can achieve this one through the composition model okay so this is all about the context api so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you